The University Libraries provides access to several databases, and some of those consist of literary criticism resources. So if you go up here to the top and click on databases, you will then open up a new page, and on that page you have a listing of databases by subject or by name. Um, so if you have a specific database in mind, you can go ahead and do a search in this box. If you don't, and you're just trying to find something related to literary criticism, you'll notice that the department that specifically instructs students on literary criticism is the Language and Literature Department. So if you click on that, it lists all the resources that would be relevant to language and literature. Now, one of the resources that we like to recommend a lot is Contemporary Literary Criticism. So if you click on that database, you'll notice that it opens up this database interface and you can search contemporary literary criticism by itself or you can select to search um, contemporary authors and contemporary literary criticism simultaneously. So let's go ahead and search all the literature databases here and then if you type in the last name of the author you can go ahead and do that and then you can also type in the name of the work that they've written. So if you know that you're looking for um, criticism on the Gilead by Marilyn Robinson you can then go ahead and enter that information and click search. Now there are a couple things to keep in mind here. First of all, the document title, so you have that information, the document source, and then the document type. So the document title is, as it indicates, the title of the work that has been written about the Gilead or about that author's works in general. And then the source is the name of the database that has actually provided that document. And then you have the type of source that it is, a biography or criticism. A couple things to keep in mind here. Biographical information is really helpful in learning about how the author's life may have influenced the things that they wrote. And so that can be very, very relevant to literary criticism that you're doing. But you might also find that criticism, actual discussion of the author's work and the thematic content and other information there is, as, is helpful as well. So you may want to consult both biographical and criticism type information. Something to note here is if you click on a specific document, um, it opens up a new page here and you can look at that. This is all the information in one of the documents and so it's a lot of information to take in. In addition to that, if you keep scrolling down the list, you'll notice that it lists a work cited and so the work cited is a great way to find other resources that may help you in writing your literary criticism for the Gilead or whatever work you're doing and then if you scroll down even further some of them also contain some of the basic information that you will need to compile a citation so this is all the kind of information that you would put in a citation please do be sure to check with your little brown handbook for the way that the citation should be written so the formatting may not be consistent in this specific database the way they've cited it so you'll want to make sure that you follow the citation instructions in your little brown handbook if you do have any additional questions please don't hesitate to contact the university libraries we're here to bring the library to you